Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be reviewing the Miros Digital Alarm Clock. It has a nice wooden finish, a five to six foot long cable, which is a USB cable, so you need to actually purchase your own block separately in order to plug it into a socket. On the display, it shows the time, the humidity by percentage, and the temperature. On the back, it has three control buttons one for set, one for up, and one for down. So let me show you how to control the settings. So starting with the first one, if I select set, the first setting is in order to change the time from the 24 hour clock to the 12 hour clock. So if I select up, it changes it. If I select set, it sets it. Next, if I select up and down, down, then if I go up, it goes back, set, sets it, same with the minutes. Select up and down, it either turns up, turns it on, select up it again, same with down, turns the alarm on and off. And then it sets the time. So you have three alarms on this clock. So for the sake of this exercise, actually let's turn on one of the alarms so you can hear the sound. So this clock is at 444. So let's turn on one of the alarms. Actually go backwards. And turn it on for 446. And what you could do next is um, the button for up actually changes the temperature so here I'm in Canada so I actually keep my temperature in Celsius but if you press up it changes it to Fahrenheit for you next the down button so it changes the sound icon so what you can do is now I have it set to off but if I change it to on what I do is if I leave it alone for a couple seconds what it'll do is it'll turn the whole thing off if I leave it for a couple seconds and it'll change it to sound activated. So if I clap, the whole thing turns on. Lastly, if I press and hold on the set button, it change, I, and I go up. Oh, and that's the sound of our alarm actually. <laughs> Perfect timing. And I click set to turn it off. So back to the brightness. I can turn that off right there. There we go. So I'm just turning off our alarm. There we go. And if I press and hold, I can actually turn down the brightness back to our ordinary level. Click set to turn it off. All right. So on a scale of one to 10, I'd actually give this product about a seven. I really like the, the features I like the most is I like the fact that I can adjust the brightness. Um, I like that I can have it sound activated so that I'm not using so much extra electricity. I like that I can have up to three alarms. Um, and I like that it shows the temperature so that um, you know, different rooms in the house, sometimes you'll have the heater on or you'll have the heater off and um, it'll say that the house is a certain temperature but in my room it'll be a different temperature. So it's really great that I have the ability to tell in my own room. And the humidity, that's also really important to me. Um, some things I don't like, I'm not, I don't really like that the cable is a little bit on the short side. It's for a cable, given that like there is a cable and that it's a little bit on the short side, so take that in consideration, considering the distance from your bed or your desk to where you want to plug it into. As well, I think it's only three buttons, so consider the settings that I just went over. The fact that you kind of have to remember, okay, for um, the brightness, you have to like hold down for three seconds as opposed to just clicking. 
and it's a lot of click through to set all your alarms so remembering all that I only remember because I've been using it for so long but for somebody who's just a beginner and just gets it you do have to rely on your manual quite a lot so overall I give it a 7 out of 10 for the price it's a pretty good product but definitely there's room for improvement thanks for watching my video and like comment and subscribe